Well, we bought ourselves a little brand new toy here. And from people who uh, watch my channel in the past, they know that, you know, I own a regular chainsaw. So why in the heck would I ever waste any money on a chainsaw that was battery powered, you might ask. Well, we kind of want to be able to have this chainsaw to throw in the back of the UTV here and take it out on the trails and not have to worry about gas, pull starting it, and it's a little easier for my wife and son to use this when they're just cleaning up shrubs around the house. So, yeah, and the other part was is, well, we wanted to do our part and go a little green, so we bought a few tools, this being one of them. How dare you? To uh, help around the little homestead here and clean up brush. I'm gonna be putting this chainsaw through some paces. Now, obviously, you guys can go and look at a DeWalt 12 inch chainsaw reviews. I'm not doing a review really right now. I'm just kind of do a, a abusive test, should I say. So what I did is I bought a DeWalt 12 inch chainsaw without battery and charger. So out the door, this cost me about 180 bucks. Now everybody has, if you have a DeWalt, y'all probably more than likely have these little 20 volt batteries that come with your, uh, your drill. So I thought, well, this might be a good test before I buy a big battery for this to see how long will the chainsaw last on these household batteries that you use for your impact drivers, your drills around your house, because who wants to buy the 60 amp hour or whatever, the big, the big mother mamma jamma, should I call it, for this, when you got these laying around the house? Because everybody knows if you don't use these, they actually go bad. So we don't quite use our drill enough to discharge these batteries as often as we should. This is gonna be the answer. And it just, uh, uh, it goes in there somehow like that. I don't know. Uh, uh. <laughs> just like regular chainsaw locks. Just has a press button here. It does take, uh, it does take chain oil. And let's see here. And instead of taking all this off to tighten up this chain, you can just tighten it here. Well, until it absolutely wears out. So kind of like that let's go check out this tree that uh went down i think this is way too small for what i need but we're going to use two batteries today we're going to try to discharge them as much as we can and see how much work we can get out of this little chainsaw how's the poison ivy doing better he's doing a lot better he's probably had the worst case of poison ivy in his life but uh yeah let's go take a look at this tree real quick it's a uh, it's a little bit in the back but you can kind of see in the back there the leaves have died and we'll be cutting all this stuff up so i'm going to concentrate on getting them off the fences yep you see that all the way up there so that tree it split right in the center there one side went that way and this side went that way and just crushed absolutely crushed this fence so we're going to try to get as much of this stuff off here as we can using this guy right here. I would probably advise you not to uh, do this with this type of chainsaw, but hey, I, I just bought it. If it breaks, I could take it back, you know, <laughs> the next day. So the next day. let's give it a shot. Pretty sharp. Definitely wow. feels like an electric chainsaw. <laughs> Woo! You don't like that. You feel you feel that. fence is nice and jacked up I could tell you right off the bat if you're left-handed and this is how you cut this would get annoying this is definitely a right-handed person type of chainsaw with the lock button and uh, trigger access uh, trigger access so yeah just keep that in mind all right so you can see uh, I kind of cleared this area up really quick uh, I've been running this chainsaw maybe 10 minutes uh, still has full power so what I'm doing is I'm cleaning up this stuff here so when this bad boy falls, it doesn't take me out and it doesn't take the rest of the fence out. Now, 
what I gotta do is make sure it falls, because there's so many different ways this thing can go. I gotta make sure it falls in the way I want it to fall, and it doesn't pin me in the process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start working on this big stuff and see if I can get it to come back. And then my final kickstand is gonna be this guy right here. I'm gonna try to split and then get the tree to stand on that and then uh, hopefully rotate it. So let's see if we can do it with this little tiny chainsaw. I still have a full battery left um, sitting in the UTV and then the one we've been using. So let's see how far it can go. And uh, so far so good, it's been cutting through some thick stuff. So, all right, let's talk more action. I'm not sure if you guys can see this or not. There's a tree right there I plan on using for protection in case this thing wants to spin on me because I'm going to be cutting from the other side. So maybe I'll film right Yeah. Let's see here. See if you guys can get that or not. But I'm going to start working on it, little cuts. I'll start from the bottom and this thing's going to want to start going like this. And it might rotate, but I'm going to use that tree right there to keep it from spinning on me. And see if we can get this thing just to kick stand up on the other side of the fence without destroying the rest of my fence here. I'm okay. <laughs> you guys okay? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You guys all right? Uh-oh. Help. Oh man, I thought that was done. Dunzo. It ripped the camera right off the tripod when the stick came down. I thought this camera was done. <laughs> you guys okay? I think you're okay. This camera just took a massive hit. You're crazy. I like you. Before all that happened, I'm still on the first battery. And uh, yeah, we're down about one bar. After cutting all this wood and this big stuff, that's what we're down to. On 12 inch chainsaw with a 20 volt battery. So I think, I think that's saying that. You guys, you guys don't need to buy one of those big, huge batteries. Just use your household drill batteries you should be good, but that's the other thing is this chain, it's, it ain't loose yet. It's staying, it's staying tight. I'm actually pretty impressed with this little thing. I've got massive amounts of trees on this other side of the fence. This tree, guys, was big and tall. Unbelievable. Let's see if I can get this other one cut up. Let me show you this other side of the fence here. Look at this. All that brown, that's all tree. This tree was humongous, but let's see if we can work around this stuff. Cause I gotta get, I gotta get that guy off the fence so I can start fixing it. So I gotta figure something out. All right. I would say that we're abusing this saw. This saw is definitely not made for this at all. This, uh, this wood that we're cutting up is cottonwood, so it's fairly soft. It's not a really big hardwood, so uh, this might vary if I was, say, cut ash or oak. This one's not so bad because it's just a lot of little branches on the fence. All the bigger branches are down here, so I can start eating my way into this. And, well, let's just get to it.
there. She's about done. Yep. About as far as I got out of it. I think we got quite a bit done with this little guy. Let's uh let's head back to the UTV and talk about it more. Good. All right. So, we have our fully charged battery. Yep. Not lying. Fully charged. And this one here. Ooh, she is warm. There's one bar left on it, but the saw wouldn't let me cut anymore. So it must be a little added device so you don't completely go nuts on this thing. But uh, we're gonna test it on that ash log. And you know, even even getting rid of like the wood chips and the sawdust from cutting, you know, the byproduct and stuff, that uh it doesn't seem to gum up inside there. And I am running oil. That battery is kind of loose though. I don't know about that. Oh, thank you, bud. Guys, it is hot today. Well, we got a new battery in here. Let's go test out the torque and power of this thing on some real wood, like some hard ash. Ooh, that was woke up, man. So there's a definite difference uh, as the battery's depleted and the, and the torque of it, but it's still cut through wood pretty quick. So let's give this a shot. Well, I'd have to say that's a little bit tougher to cut through for this little chainsaw than that cottonwood. But we'll keep on pushing and uh, see what we can do. See what this thing's got. Woo, I don't know. I don't think it's going to make it. Nope, that was the last cut, guys. All right, guys, so my honest opinion, the batteries that come with your drills and your little household tools and their impact drivers and such, the little four amp hour batteries, those things are gonna work just fine in that chainsaw. There's no need, I think, for you to go buy a big giant battery for that little chainsaw. You saw what I did with two batteries. Now, I did have to change the batteries out, but you saw all I did with one battery, and that was with a soft cottonwood, and I did a lot of work with that one battery, and those weren't very small logs. I would probably say you should stick with a, stick with logs about that big with that little chainsaw. You could probably press it to get a little bit bigger, but you should not have been, I should not have been cutting logs as big as I did with that little chainsaw. It has plenty of torque. That stock chain is pretty impressive because I cut all this ash wood. And uh, I don't know if you guys know ash. That is a pretty good hardy wood. That stuff uh, can dull a blade pretty quick. That blade is still sharp. And I got about 13 cuts out of one battery on a 16 inch round circumference ash wood. So if that tells you anything about those batteries uh, in that chainsaw, that will tell you right there. You don't need to buy that huge battery pack and spend three hundred dollars for that uh that combo kit just use the batteries that have that you have at home it's going to be good for those batteries anyways because if you don't cycle your batteries and burn through them uh they will slowly de uh decinerate not disintegrate degenerate degrade one of those words <laughs> i don't know it's hotter than fish grease out i can't think straight right now but uh it's always good to totally de-energize your batteries this chainsaw, well, that sure, it's gonna do the job for me on doing just that. And uh, those batteries are gonna last a lot longer. Now, those batteries are about a year old and I've been using them with my DeWalt uh, Impact 
and I have not been putting them through a lot of use. So they haven't been de-energized a whole lot. So you take it for what it's worth. I think the saw did a pretty good job. I don't think you need to buy the big battery that usually comes with that saw. I think you can get away with just buying the tool alone. And uh, I got mine at the Home Depot. I buy it from Home Depot. For 170 bucks, 180 bucks. You can buy it refurbished on uh, Amazon for like 130, 150, one of the two. Uh, so that's my take on that DeWalt chainsaw. It's gonna come in handy around here. Trust me, I'm gonna be using that thing all the time. It will be a tool that's in this UTV continuously because if any of you guys got woods, you know how long it takes to, or you know how much work it takes to keep up with all this stuff. So I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next episode.